The Lord gave me a dream. If it is for you, it will resonate with your spirit. And as always, take everything back to the Lord for confirmation and prayer. Every day in the house of the Lord, what an experience. To have someone to walk with you every day. To have someone who always helps you to reach your destination. To be treated with respect. To be loved like you have never been loved before. To be able to be fully transparent with someone. For someone to know you inside and out and love every part of you where there is complete freedom to love and be loved without fear, to be loved without conditions or limitations, where trust is confirmed and affirmed daily, where two have become one and come into agreement before making decisions, where they have left their father and mother and now hold fast to one another, where they labor together and yield a great return for their labor. The parts of you that were unnoticed by one will be cherished by the one. What one viewed as a flaw will be viewed by the one as a blessing. In the house of the Lord, love never fails. If love changes, it is to grow. It grows deeper, it grows wider. It grows down deep into the roots of the heart. It is a love that wants to unite all instead of showing favoritism. A love that prioritizes the correct order of relationships. A love where you know that you are the apple of their eye. A love that does not give into temptation. In God's house, you may see the foolish school the wise. You may see the student become the teacher. You may see the roles reverse so that no one may boast. In God's house, you go from glory to glory, opportunity to opportunity, and advancement to more than you can imagine, where great exploits are performed and countless miracles are seen, where the ones you used to watch in admiration now becomes the place where you relax. In this world, love plays games to win the heart of others. The funny part is their targets actually fall in love with their games. They prefer to play instead of work. They prefer the fake over what's real. Real love requires work. Real love requires time. In this world, they think they have won the heart of the one they pursued, but in actuality, they have won the attention of a player of the game until a more interesting game becomes available to play. They think they are winning because they can make someone do what they want by gratifying the flesh. But those who sow to the flesh only reap corruption. Darkness will always have an issue with light, but light will always overcome darkness. Those who walk in darkness think they are wise, developing schemes and plans to defeat their enemies. They try to fool others by dressing up their schemes in expensive or pretty packaging. They deceive the hearts of the innocent and the naive. The wicked flees when no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as lions. A righteous man may fall seven times and rise again, but the wicked shall fall by calamity. When the enemy is caught, he must pay back seven times as much as he stole. The enemy may come in one way, but they shall surely flee in seven. They will be defeated before you, and you will be given the necks of your enemies.